Hi guys, welcome back to Inside RG. I'm Jack, as you know. And I'm Mike. We haven't changed, and we are here today at Buxwood Grange. This is really, really exciting, guys. Yeah, so we feel really privileged to be here filming um, today a beautiful, what was a Victorian mansion, which then was turned into a, a school um, in later years, and then in 2005 was converted into flats. Um, and as you'll see when we take you on, you've got beautiful internal um, building and the apartments that make up of it but also added to that we've got the grounds which we'll take you through now there's some really interesting stuff here so um, yeah follow us through we're gonna start outside and then we'll take you inside afterwards so Buxton Grange is, is all about the grounds really as well as being a beautiful building you've got areas beautiful areas lawn woodland tennis courts um, and, yeah, yeah, and so beautiful it views. Used to be a school, as I think Mike mentioned just at the uh, introduction there, takes it back to around the mid 1800s. Um, so it's a really, really elegant building. Coming through here, this is a really interesting find that Mike came across on the day. Yeah, so um, interesting, a lot of the old students have actually carved their details in because it was an international school. So there's, there's people here, as you can see, dating back to 1942, 1944, um, which so is, I think, history. is about the time Adrian became our branch manager at Red and Orange, I think it was. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. Okay, so the cool thing about all of this area is it's all carved out of this rock, including Rocks Park, hence how the estate got the name. Um, so Buxford Grange is all through the rocks, and then this path that we're on at the moment takes you through to Lake Wood um, under this really cool tunnel and underpass. Is it going to be muddy there? It's definitely going to be muddy. I've got loafers on that I don't want to really get. I'm going to go to the tennis court, so I'll catch up with you guys in a moment. I'm going to go and find the tennis court. Okay. Okay. See you in a moment. Unbelievable. So we're going to take you down to show you the little entrance to Lakewood. I don't mind getting muddy, but Jack's got his special loafers on. So see you there in a second. So, and we get right to the end here of looking around all the grounds and you've got this little gateway, which goes through to the beautiful Lakewood, um, which um, residents here have got access through to go through this absolutely amazing tunnel, which takes you through to Lakewood. So let's go find Jack at the tennis court. Okay, so I'm down at the tennis courts, as you can tell from the grandstand theme, we're a bit of a Wimbledon theme. Jack seemed really excited to tell you about the um, about the tennis, and uh, I think I can see why. All right, tennis courts. Do you fancy a game, Mike, or come on through? So these are um, for use of all the residents here. Um, there's two tennis courts. Um, all part of the maintenance here, which will be in our brochure and we'll go through with you if you, if you do inquire. But um, yeah, pop down, I'm here if you fancy a game. Let's go and have a look at the inside. So this is a really, as we said, a really elegant building. And Shouldn't we like... just touch upon those shorts first? Or are we just going to breeze past Yeah, that? apologies about that. Let's move on. Let's move on this from the tight shorts. This is such Sorry. a beautiful part of the video, Mike. Sorry. Um, right, yes, really, really elegant building. And you really are buying a piece of history here. So as Mike mentioned, it is a, uh, it is a Victorian mansion um, converted, we think, around 2005. Um, and this is kind of the main communal hall when we're, we're going up the stairs here. Beautiful panelling, um, so much detail in this part of the building. There's so much history as well about this property as well. In fact, it had been an international school, uh, international boarding school, which is fantastic. But yeah, as Jack said, it's, it's, it's a piece of upfield history, really, which you're buying into. Yeah. You've um, got two staircases here as well, actually. There's one that's almost more direct to the apartment that we're selling. But this is the, the grand entrance that we're bringing you up here. The, 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 to be honest, they're both as, as quick to get to the, uh, to, the, to the apartment. And we're into the apartment here. So um, you've got an electric fire there at the moment, but there is a gas point just behind the TV then. Um, so you could have a gas fire or open it up. Yeah, and we're coming through to the kitchen here. So we've got integrated fridge freezer on the left, and the other white good appliances um, are going to be included in the uh, the sale price as well, and they are relatively new appliances. Which is fantastic. South side of the house, this as well, so lots and lots of light flooding in. Um, there are shutters as well that are really beautiful, spoke shutters for the windows to close that light out. Coming along the hallway here into bedroom two, um, really beautiful room, this nice size comfortably a double room again nice and light as well so the, the feature about this property is the light as well as this a lot of character properties can be quite dark this has just got the lights flooding light flooding through yeah and great. i think with that victorian age as well you've got the really high ceilings and charming features throughout it's so going back down the hall here to the left here you've got the airing cupboard there's the loafers there's the shoes yeah that are nice and clean fortunately um, and we're going in now to the main bedroom so you've got a really nice amount of storage in here some built-in wardrobes to the left hand side there you've got access into the ensuite uh, bathroom um, and again you're looking over the grounds of Rocks Park School out that window there. 
which Mike would know well. Which is what I went, yeah, indeed. And then as you come out, you've got the family bathroom. So you've got ensuite bathroom and family bathroom here, yeah. so, which is fantastic to have the two bathrooms. Nice to have the bath and shower. So you've got um, 799 square feet, so just under 800 square foot of apartment here, which is a really nice size. So if you want to come and discover the grounds, maybe see Jack in his tennis shorts, um, give us a call. We'd be delighted to show you around.